or infrastructure. Thank you. Well, I think infrastructure will be a big deal, practically everybody. In China, where BYD is so active, and by the way, the Daily Journal owns some BYD. But BYD is going to be huge in electric vehicles. They're already huge. And they're going to be much more huge. And then they're going to be huge in monorails, which is also a business whose time has come. And they're also huge in these lithium batteries. And the lithium batteries are being improved and materially improved. And the place is full of fanatics. And by the way, they're a big supplier to Apple and Huawei. And, and they're a very satisfactory supplier to those things. So I am terribly impressed with BYD. It's been one of the real pleasures of my life to, to Wan Chan Fu is the eighth son of a peasant. An older brother recognizing a genius had been born into the family. He just gave up everything in life to nurture that little brother genius. Now that's Confucianism. And by the way, Confucianism will do a lot better for civilization than the Ford Foundation did. You know, I mean, Confucianism with a strong family ethos like that is a really constructive thing. And Confucianism partly created BYD. That older brother of Wan Chan Fu's was a hero. And, and, and of course, what Wan Chan Fu has done is a miracle. And of course, that was a venture capital type investment. We bought marketable securities, not Berkshire, but, but uh, Li, Li Lu did. And, and it's been a wonderful investment. And it's been a very admirable company. And, and I like being part of something that's inventing better lithium, lithium batteries and better monorails and, and so on and so on. So if you work for BYD, you're a very fortunate person. And you're going to have a wonderful life watching and participating. You could hardly have a better employer, at least if you like demanding achievement in 80-hour weeks. <laughs>